Although radio frequencies can't be compared directly to sound waves, one shared characteristic is wavelength. Like sound waves, lower frequencies have a longer wavelength and therefore their propagation characteristics are stronger. This means that for a given power output, they penetrate further through surfaces and traverse greater distances than higher frequencies. Ultra-high frequency, or UHF, bands offer wireless microphone users the largest quantity of good quality spectrum. Here, interference is predictable and can be accounted for as the spectrum is only shared with TV. The same cannot be said for other parts of spectrum. Users of professional wireless microphones and in-ear monitoring systems have happily shared UHF spectrum for years. We had access from 470 to 865 MHz as secondary users alongside analog TV transmission. This meant that in the areas of spectrum where there was no TV transmission, radio microphones could be used. This included TV channel 69, which is 854 to 862 MHz. Across the UK, TV channel 69 had no TV transmission and was dedicated to the use of radio mics used by the creative AV and broadcasting industries. This group of users is known as Program Making and Special Events, or PMSE for short. This allocation of spectrum has now completely changed. The reason for this is probably within your arm's reach right now.